I'm Carrie Clancy. I'm the clinical director in East Brunswick, and I'm Shroff Barcelona certified. I'm going to talk this tidbit Tuesday a little bit about scoliosis. The first video, I'm just going to talk about the anatomy, and the second video, I'm going to give you uh, an easy exercise that anyone can do who's not Shroff certified to help treat scoliosis. So with a scoliosis, um, I'm not sure we've learned enough about it in school to really effectively treat it, so I'm going to talk a little bit about how the uh, scoliosis progresses. So if this is a normal, healthy spine, right, just some rectangles on an x-ray stacked on top of each other, what happens with the scoliosis is, for some reason, the brain is telling one side of the vertebrae to grow faster than the other. So instead of stacked rectangles, they turn into stacked, almost rhomboids, right? One side is bigger. And so that creates a rotation first in the spine. So it's not this rotated, I'm gonna exaggerate. But if we think about the rotation being the primary problem in the deformity, as we rotate, it's that frontal plane curve that you see second, that S shape. All right, so you'll have your patients with scoliosis. A lot of times what you'll see, especially in the younger patients, most times in general, you'll see that patient is going to be shifted towards the side of their primary curve. So if their primary curve is in the thoracic spine, lumbar spine, whichever one it is, you'll see them shifted towards that side. And then unfortunately, as patients age um, and become weaker, if we're not addressing the problem, what we can start to see is the patients start to collapse into their concavity. So it really doesn't matter which curve they have, we want to get them over midline. That's the goal. So if we just threw somebody on a physio ball and had them do some bends, we're really not going to effectively treat that primary problem, which is that rotation. So what we want to do with, with Schroth and really with any patient that you're treating with scoliosis is focus on elongation of the spine. Because the moment that we do that, we can see just by straightening up a little bit and elongating, we're going to decrease a little bit of that curve that you can see in the frontal plane. So curved and then elongated. So with Schroth, what we talk about is elongation and derotation. But I'm gonna show you a couple exercises that you can do just to help with that elongation as the first problem. Thanks for tuning in to this great presentation. Keep an eye out for more helpful tidbits coming soon to this page on the JAG1 intranet. If you have an idea or would like to contribute to this series, please contact someone from our team at professionaldevelopment at jag1pt.com.